let's get into what are the different types of uh, actual employers in the traditional industry so there are four types of employers here the first one are your core insurance companies the second one are your reinsurance companies the third one are your knowledge process outsourcing units and the fourth one are your consulting firm now core insurance companies as you know these are your indian insurance companies examples are lic Echo General Insurance, Bharti Axa Life. What is the advantage of working in the core industry? First, you get an end-to-end -end understanding of the insurance business, right? Because you're working in the core business. You're not helping out the business. You are actually within the business. Second is that you're closest to implementation. That is the teams that are actually selling the products, the teams that are actually fulfilling claims, experienced teams. They are your colleagues, right? So you're closest to implementation. The third thing is you get high quality work and fast paced learning because any company only outsources the work that they feel is not either they don't have internal competency to do it or it is sort of ad hoc or it is low quality work that nobody wants to do within the organization. So the high quality work which is regular is usually kept by the company. They don't outsource it to someone else. That's why core insurance companies have really good work and thus the learning environment is fast paced. And then the learning is so deep and so fast in core that you are able to move to non-core roles very easily. So that's the advantage of working in core company. Second, let's get to reinsurance companies. That's the second kind of employers. Insurance for insurers. Again, in reinsurance, the quality of work is good. The learning is also fast paced. One additional advantage here is there are opportunities to move abroad because these are MNCs typically. Swiss Re is an MNC, Hanover Re is an MNC, they operate out of India. The third one is your knowledge process outsourcing units. Aeon is one of them, you might have heard of them. Mercer is another, Sun Life is another. So these are some of your KPO units. What are KPOs? KPOs are basically when a core company from some other country outsources its work to India because they feel like we can get it done cheaper in India or we do not have enough skill set here locally. So we can just hire someone in India to do it. And uh, that is where these KPO units come in. While the quality of work, typically it's not as good as uh, your core insurance company, but your work life balance is uh, really good. And that gives you an opportunity to pass exams faster. Again, there are opportunities to travel or move abroad. So that uh, is the good thing about KPO units. Finally, there are consulting firms. You must have heard of the big four. There's a lot of dynamic work. You get good range across industries, across different geographies, and then opportunities to travel or move abroad are also really good. And working in them, you become subject matter experts on regulatory frameworks and industry best practices.